you've got a function of two variables, f, we don't know what it is. We do not know what it is. All we know is that x and y um, have some sort of uh, dependence on these two variables, r and theta, in a polar coordinate kind of, kind of fashion. Calculate these pa partials, the second order partials. So it's very similar to the one that I did before. So I'll just, I'll calculate um, one of the second order partials and let you guys do the rest. So, Anyone done 52, just out of interest? Anyone? Yeah? Cool? Good? Okay, so to get the second par order partials, let's do the first order partials. So drawing our little nifty diagram, we know that f depends on two variables, and each of those variables depend on two things. So the chain rule gives us the following. So let's say, um, let's, let's calculate it with respect to R, dz dr. What's it going to be? df dx times dx dr. So I'm just going to write subscripts just to um, save a bit of space. df dy times dy dr. Now I don't know what f is. So there's no way I can calculate f sub x. I just got to leave it. But I do know what x and uh, y uh, the relationship is between x and r and theta and y and r and theta. So x sub r, what's that going to be? That's going to be something like just cosine theta. y sub r is going to be something like sine theta. Yes? So let's say I wanted to calculate z sub r r. I would draw my little diagram again. I'm not going to do z sub theta because I'll... I'm just going to um, leave that out. So I draw my little diagram again, just with a z sub r up the top. So z sub r r is going to be z sub r sub x times x sub r plus z sub r sub y times y sub r. Oh, I guess I can, I can probably, uh, yeah, I, I guess I can write it like that. That's okay. All right, so let's go up here and differentiate with respect to x. What am I going to get up here? Well, I'm going to, so, so I want to basically differentiate each of these terms with respect to x. Now, cosine theta, well, that's, you can think of that as a constant. So f sub x with differentiated with respect to x is just going to be f sub xx. And again, I can differentiate with respect to y here. So this is just that x sub r, what's that going to be? dx dr, it's just going to be cosine theta. So we're at this second term, just to repeat the process, but just differentiating with respect to y this time. So if I differentiate each of these terms with respect to y, I'll get this. And lastly, y sub r is going to just be <gasps> sine theta. Now, can anyone tell me, assuming that these mixed partials are equal, I can sort of add these, add these together. I'm going to get the same sort of terms. And I think that's, that's a reasonable assumption to make. So um, we can, th these mixed partials are going to be equal. So what I can do is just simplify a little bit. So I'll take a cos squared out there. And I can expand that and get 2 f sub xy cos theta sine theta. And then the last one's going to be something like sine squared theta f sub y y. 
So the other cases are similar, and I'm going to leave them for you to do. Questions? <laughs>